Hello, welcome back. Last time I got this pretty cool room done, after wasting a whole bunch of time in this one that I don't really like, and not getting it done. So since then, my attention has been directed by the hold author to this pressure plate. Yes, that exists. It seems as though it's just there to trap me in there and to make sure that my clone can't move, but... The implication was that perhaps this can somehow be involved in the solution here. Um... How would that be? Let's just probe... I'm gonna spend like a maximum of, I don't know, four minutes on this, unless I decide that it feels like I'm getting something done. So problems I see with the idea of using this pressure plate are that nothing reopens this. If Bethro is ever inside, then he's just, well... Oh, that's interesting. Hold on. So I just saw something. Okay, well, no. So all the tar has to be removed. And I do need a bee throw out here to be able to do this. So I can't have the bee throw here just doing the inside job of keeping this clear. Um, if I were to press this and, like, there were tar stuff here, you know, that's still going to grow back. So it's not like I can allow something like this to happen. Uh, yeah, basically. Um, so that implies it have to have all this center stuff clear. So the, the way I think I see this is maybe being able to be useful is if I could, let's say I were to clear two wings of this. Just like the east and the north, for example. So I would do it this way. So east and the north are clear. This is regrowing. They're not clear at all. That's all going to regrow. No, that's no nothing is good about that. So I'd have to, I'd have to clear them way further back. If I could clear them far enough back, that um that there's just no tar at all poking out of here? Well, then what? Then what would happen? Nothing good. Like, I still have to clear all of the tar stuff before the brain goes down and before I get my clone here, and the clone, this ensures the clone can't wait any turns and actually attract any monsters. But yeah, it is good that it was pointed out that I can, uh, can do this with it. So apparently that's involved in the solution somehow. I don't know, I really just don't want to ever look at that room again. That's what I'd prefer. Um, two by two clone area for arm and disarm. Why two by two? Why not one by two? Disarm, rearm, checkpoint. Oh, it's one of these, okay. Probably just for O oh, so that I can uh, disarm immediately, okay. So I get a choice between disarm, rearming, or checkpointing. <laughs> and that's how the checkpointing system in this room works. Okay. Oh, gross. Grow the tar all the way across. Oh. Okay, well. Anyway, yeah, put stable tar blobs here, here, and here. Set up the trap doors so that there are no tar babies. Also, these exist? Why? I guess those are just... They don't, they nothing, nothing is connect... Oh wait, this is connected to them. Why? No, seriously, what's the point of... Oh! Oh, this is a pure trapdoor carving puzzle. Okay, this isn't what I thought. I was interpreting this as Bethro would step in the trapdoor field, I'd manage his armed and disarmed state, and just like, I guess, stand still while armed and chop up the tar, disarm to move around, disrupt the trapdoors as little as possible until I got the tar into place, and then, uh, oh no. Anyway, yeah, and then drop a few trapdoors around this, grow it very slowly over here, drop a few trapdoors very slowly over here, drop a few trapdoors, then leave. But what it actually is, this tunnel is one way. 
I have to drop trapdoors in such a way that this will grow without making any tar babies the whole time. I think the easiest way to think about that is going to be iteratively. Nope. <laughs> I think the worst possible place to do that. So if I do nothing, I mean the easiest way to do this is just going to do nothing, going to be to do nothing and watch where the problem spots are. So we got one here. Uh, this would not... No, that would be one. So drop these two and this one, but then that just moves the problem up here. So hang on. Alright, so first problem spots are here and here. Those places. So let's just say I would do this. And then this. Let me just think about what that does. Now just think about it, let me just observe what that does. Okay, so it got me another cycle free of tar babies, but then they're gonna happen here and here, and here and here. So any place where it's going to be orthogonally growing through a thing. Uh, why these... Why, why do those pop up? It's hard to imagine... Oh, so he can toggle them. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's do this. Let me think about one corner at a time. So to go from here to here, the shortest path is about like that. Just because it's the shortest doesn't mean it's the best. So I have to do something here. That's the most obvious thing, but I don't necessarily have to do the most obvious thing. However, what if I would just do something like this? I don't think there's a reason I couldn't just do something like that. Okay, whoops. How did I confuse the shift key with the tab key? That was weird. Uh... Okay, so here's a trick. How do I turn this corner? So obviously I have to drop this. Then the place where I'm standing becomes the next problem. There isn't a way I can arrange this such that that'll grow cor- Oh dear, oh no. Uh, is there another room that's more approachable than that? Like, I see what that is. If this were, like, chopped in half this way and chopped in half this way and only that much space to deal with, I'd be okay with it. With, like, a full room of this. I mean, it's not even using the full room, but it's using most of it. I don't really want to do that. That looks super unfun. It's just, like, having to keep track of the entire room all at once, and implications like, for example, so yeah, if I drop all those, I can't turn this corner. So what I need, basically, to, to make that work is to grow tar from two angles at once, so that it overtakes the place where the tar baby would have happened, basically, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so turning corners or going orthogonally past those little obstacles is, becomes tough. But then that means I would have to time the the tar growing in from like an extra tendril somewhere, and that's ah, uh, don't like, don't want, don't want to mess with. This looks fine. I can do this room. I'll bet. This looks like an efficiency challenge. Actually, no. This looks like those rooms where I gotta park tar babies like up here. Oh, isn't this almost exactly like a room I've played before? So park two tar babies down there, uh, up there, be down here, and be in here while this grows. That closes. 
Okay, so just gotta... Oh. Okay. So, so I have a time limit for setup. So I understand the format of this. I think, right? It's tar instead of mud, which will make this a little bit harder to manage. So I get one, two, three, four. So in four growths, I need to get this prepared for the final step. That's pretty tight. Doing stuff like that's not going to help me much. And the, uh, oh boy, you're all the way up there, of course you are. I'm not sure I want to do this room right now, but I want to just probe at it for a quick moment and see how plausible it might be. Yeah, so I need basically just an infinite number of growths once I'm in here for that to happen. I can... Okay, so let me just prove something real quick. I'm certain it's true, but I want to see it with my own eyes. Just to know for sure. I cannot trim the sides of this in time. I'm just doing it the dumb way. Like, I, I don't think I can even trim one side in time the dumb way. I certainly cannot. Okay, so I've proven that. So this would take a different approach than trimming it all the way down to just a little blob here, parking tar babies up top and getting down there. Okay. So, yeah, so this is a remix of another concept I've seen before. Okay, so that one seems approachable, but I am I think I'd rather try this one. that looks like it has fewer... a smaller tar blob. Well, it has no tar blob, it has a mud blob. Brain, mud blob, pressure plate, pressure plate. What are you implying? Don't step north of here until the trapdoor is dropped. Dropping trapdoor means that opens up. It's as though it's implying that I need... Oh, this is weird. It's as though it's implying that I need a mud baby sitting there to open the way to the mud mother. And then from in here beyond the trap, then that, that mud baby is the last thing I kill. Well, or the brain. Uh... Fascinating. So if I just let this grow, then, I mean, yeah, it makes a mud baby there. But then I have to get this cleared off somehow. So only mud babies can grow up there, but that's impossible. Like, I can't clear this off without stepping north of uh, the place I'm not allowed to step. Like, I can't make any stabs... Oh, wait. Uh, now, how am I going to put anything on this pressure plate without permanently putting something on that one, is, is what I'm wondering. I can't. Uh, or so it would seem. That doesn't turn off. There's no invisibility, no clones, no trickery I can use to keep you from going there. So without stepping this close, you want me to move a mud baby here? Okay, so that's clearly impossible. There is no way that that can happen, even just conceptually. So that's not what it is. Unless there's like path map trickery involved. Well, but it's not like I can get a mud baby in there. Wait, path map, path map. Well, it's gotta be open already. Uh, okay, so what do I know about brain path mapping? Can I force some kind of brained move that would make something go north when it normally wouldn't? Okay, so I think this is actually like a brain... 
so imagine this. B throws here. There are brain invisible obstacles between him and... Okay, yeah, so imagine. This mud has grown like this. B throws here with his sword this way. And his sword doesn't even need to be that way. That's a north of square. Uh, so sword could just be here facing whatever direction. Right, and mud can't grow here because there's a fuse. Uh, so with his sword there, B throws fully protected as long as he doesn't turn his sword. As long as the next move he makes is to go to the east. So then there's a horde of mud babies all up in here. They're all trying to get to Bethrow. The brain's preference, I think it's north, east, southwest, or is it northwest, southeast? Yeah, it's horizontally mirrored from serpent preference. So yeah, so north is most preferable. Then west, yeah, it's going, it goes in like reading order. So north, west, east, south. Uh, and then diagonals are northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. So what I'm saying is, hi, I'm a mud baby. I'm here. I see that I cannot make the east move that I'd like to do to get to the delver I'm trying to kill. Uh, therefore, I'm going to, the brain's going to tell me different directions that will take me closer to him. So I'm going to have to be exactly here. So a brain invisible obstacle. So my, my most preferred route is to go here. My next most preferred would presumably be to go here because it takes me closer to the Delver, right? If that's also blocked, then maybe I would want to go here. So that also has to be blocked. Then my fourth choice, I don't know if I'm doing this, this stuff right. I think this is how brain preferences work. My fourth choice is going to be to go here. No, no, no. It, this, this would be second choice, because that's north. But it takes me... F well, it doesn't take me farther away. It takes me closer on the, the axis that matters. Right, okay. So anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So all this requires is that the mud baby's path be blocked by a brain invisible obstacle to its east. It would step here. Then if the same situation occurs, it would step here. This does not take it closer in the brain. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, that takes it farther away, so it would never make the step from here to here. And if it doesn't do that, then I can't. Okay, yeah, no, so that doesn't, that's not, that doesn't seem viable. You know what? This is going to take some editor testing, I think. Oh, hey, I'm already here. I don't have to edit this out for once. Hey, look, I was messing with mud and doing something. Was this? That's right. This was a room in level one. Okay. Uh, so let's imagine some things. Let's not imagine some things. Let's actually see some things. So what was it? Something like this. Uh, yeah, something like this. And then, like, so ortho square spot right there. Then we got all the mud babies in the world, a brain, and a bee throw. Uh, a bee throw can be placed like this. Yeah, just as I thought. They'll never move there because that takes them farther away from b -throw. They'll sidestep around all sorts of ways, but not a way that'll take them up there. Like, I mean, yeah, I can, I can fill this whole room up with mud babies, and one will never step in that spot. Yeah, because, because it's farther away. Whoa, look at this crazy little vortex that's happened. <laughs> oh man, there's another one there. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> well, that was some cool behavior. <laughs> okay. So maybe that's not the answer somehow. Uh, dang it. Why why you do this every time? Every time. Uh, okay. So that's not going to work. I need some other way to get a 
The only other way I see to get a mud baby onto that pressure plate is to have mud grow up here and spun it there. That's perfectly reasonable if I could stab that mud. I can't. It's impossible to stab mud that's... that has a stable component up here without stepping at least into this row. And it's impossible to grow a, tar a mud baby here without having stable mud in this row, in these two positions. Okay, so how about this? What if... Okay, so here's an... What if I did this, but somehow made it so that... I'm trying to figure out a way I can make this be... No, no, no matter how you slice it, this is another brain distance step away from here. So am I not standing? Is there a place I can stand? No, this is an extra brain step away from everything to its south compared to the two tiles you would step onto it from. There is no arrangement I can create where this would be appealing, right? Uh, not strictly true, so watch this. If I would... If I would have, like, a whole lot of mud babies here, and then my Bethro Refuge, suppose it were shaped like this. Now, this isn't a shape that exists in the room, so my task would be to create this with, um with mud growth. I don't think I have enough mud babies for this to happen. Uh, pretend I had more shoved into a space there somehow. Yeah, eventually they would walk up there, so I'd have to be to the west for this. Is this kind of arcane brain magic like even close to what I'm supposed to be doing here? I'm not certain that I have fully eliminated all other possibilities, but I have proven that that's possible. Like that approach. I can't enclose myself too well in a... No, I can enclose myself. But also at the same time to prevent tar mud from growing in here? So I suppose if I wanted to use the editor more, I would... <laughs> So now that I've parsed this room, I think this one's more approachable than it. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. Uh, like here, I just gotta create some tar babies kind of quickly to block growth and get down there. Here, this is very arcane because because of this restriction. This dude makes this room hard. This is where this force arrow is what makes this room hard. That particular tile. Uh, this would be so much easier without it. Well, this would be trivial without it. Uh, it'd be nothing, just grow this up there, step in there, and you're done. Uh, okay, so... So I have figured out a way, well, if I had an, an ortho-square refuge here like this one, to get a mud baby to step here without stable mud being here. So in order to create a place where Bithro can stand and let that happen, I'd need mud to be growing around him. Uh, I'm trying to think of any way I can, like, test this without too terribly much effort. Yeah, okay, so here's my vision. Ah, I kinda see it. I kinda see it. Hang on. I kinda see it. I see something, at least. Something that might turn into something good. Uh... I don't know if this is a good... No, that's not a good idea. Well, let's see. So you're brained, so you're gonna be a... A jerk about this. I need... I need a mud baby, like, way over here. This won't work. Um, what do I need?
So what I need is an arrange... Okay, yeah, no, no, I know. I know. I know what to do. Again, I had one of those visions. I can't be enclosed. Well, I can be close to enclosed. I can be... I can be like this. Yeah, okay, I think this is the answer, perhaps. Uh, I'm wrong, because it brained over to me. So wait, what do I do about that? Okay, that's not the worst possible thing. It might actually even be kind of good. That's not good. Uh, that's almost acceptable, but not quite, because now you do that. Okay, I'm getting there. I just need more mud babies when this happens. So, I want this then, probably? Yes, I sure do. Uh, this is going to be an even odd thing. How will it work? Like that? Good. But then that happens. If I could keep this pattern going then a mud baby would just end up here, like I would I would have it. That would be all it would take. Uh, why is the... okay, so this is... Now, okay, so the thing is, I don't need to be against this wall. I don't need to be that far over. I can do something a bit more... Okay, so next idea. Maybe I want the mud... In a sh oh, oh, in a shape more like... that? Let's see here. Let's imagine that this is gonna work. It's not. Uh, I mean, you can see kind of what I'm going for here. I'm trying to do something a little bit more minimal that has Bethro in here. I mean, maybe I maybe I have to cut it down to like this kind of, sh or even like this kind of shape. It's believable. So what if I did this? You would come around. Um, what if I did that at a specific time like that? Eh, that's no good. Okay, so maybe I want this. All I've done is move that uh, east by one. And the problem with moving it east by one is that happens. Okay, so I'm right back to where I was. Okay, so that's no progress. That's fine. Oh. Uh, that's not. So it would have to start like this. I was slow. Uh, I was fast enough. So this works for this, but then it stops working. Maybe I need to... move? See, it feels like what I want is more mud babies, because this they, they shuffle that way and that's not what I want. I can't help myself by moving, but maybe if I, like, loop around? Oh, check it out. Uh, nope. So that's why that doesn't work. Well, okay, so who says I can't do this? Um... You do. Mud baby number four says that. I need more mud babies. How can I achieve larger number of mud babies from that side?
Well, I think it's achievable. Uh, wait, that was interesting. Do that again. It doesn't work, but it's interesting. Hold on. Am I sure? What if... Hey, circling around at just the right time would actually allow this to kind of happen. Let me, um, one, two, three, four, five. Neat. Neat. I got another one. Hey, this might be repeatable. One, two, three, four, five. Well, the number will change because the because I have to journey further, and also that was not okay. So I wanted five more than that. One, two, three, four, five. This is a weird little pattern that I discovered totally by accident. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna guess, or maybe six. Eight was the correct number. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is intriguing. Um, I think I'm too far... I think that the mud is too far south, though. Let's see, so what's going to happen if I do this? Nothing I want. Well, okay, so there's... Here's... Watch, watch this. Three, four. Let's continue this for a moment. One, two. So then I can do a different thing here. So I wait zero. Okay, so that just didn't grow. Fascinating. So that's cool. Uh, so what I think I want, actually, is this. Don't go too far. I went too far. Um, or maybe I need to... Oh, I can't do that. So I can't make you... Okay, so you're a problem then. I don't want to kill them, but it looks as though I have to. To be safe. didn't work. Why do you do this? Go around the other way. I don't have another way I can trim this, really. So while this thing I discovered is pretty cool, I don't think it helps me. Okay, so let's try something different. I did not manage to step on any of those checkpoints, which makes me think I'm probably doing this wrong. So the thing I wanted to try different... What if I wait, like, two less? So I undid twice, so I'm standing here, and I'm letting that grow now. So I can't go around anymore. And that just grows a real bad way, so no. I, do, I don't have enough mud babies relative to the size of the mud blob. So is there an easy way I can just increase my mud baby count while decreasing the mud blob size? I think I did it. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I did it. Uh. Huh? Hmm. There isn't a stable way to do this. 
and requires constant maintenance. And that, that doesn't... Huh. So I found a cool pattern, but it doesn't get me anywhere. Is there a different way to start, I wonder? So 14 is my guess there. 14 is too many. 12 is what I wanted. It's almost as if I want to do this one to the north, but that's impossible because I have to step into this row and you would you would get up there. Anyway, I'm not sure I've explained what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a mud factory here that'll make enough mud babies without this ever s s getting onto that pressure plate. Like, I'm trying to get into a stable situation where I can just stand in here, have these blocked against my sword, have more mud babies being spawned all the time, and uh, have this path open to me, but less appealing than the path that goes through my sword, so no mud baby will ever actually come to me. If mud babies keep on being created like that... Ah, uh, okay, so... Yeah, but I have to be so far south. I just can't even get within a step of this pressure plate. I have to be way down here. If this were only stable, like if they just sit there instead of bunching up into this corner, I could do more work. Which is why I was interested in trimming this from the east side, so that I could have more mud babies here, but less mud... Uh, see, but the, the, the more they get clockwise around this, the closer they are to coming up and flanking me. So it's a delicate balance. Right, 12 was totally wrong. Uh... So I kind of stole a turn there. If I do the same thing again... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? No. 8. Okay, so with too many mud babies that also happens. There's nothing I can really do to stop that, is there? Without killing somebody. No, I have to kill somebody. A couple of somebodies. Uh, different point in the growth cycle? So somebody has to die there for me to survive. Man, they just dance around constantly. They don't, don't know how to hold still. Yeah, no. No, this pattern doesn't work because because they come around while I'm going around. So, turns out I don't understand what to do here. Like, I stumbled into something, but I don't think I stumbled into the right thing. It's probably something more like... Um, if I had to guess, I'd say it's maybe shaped more like this. Uh, oh, I've... Okay, so that's... Shaped more like this. Well, but not shaped exactly like that, certainly. Not shaped... No, that's... No, no! Yeah, this makes a mud baby there. Great, big big deal. Uh, so what? So this is... I mean, this is just a different way of the, just doing what I did over there on the other side, and this is improper. And doesn't work because of that. And, and, and. I'm never going to be unbrained, so they'll never, and even if unbrained, they still wouldn't step there. So I'd have to, like, switch sides or something? Okay, so. Just because this room doesn't have a lot of parts to it doesn't mean it's simple. 
It wants something so specific from me. Yeah, real specific and I don't know what it is. Okay, well hey, I solved no rooms today. Oh boy, isn't that nice? <laughs> Should I really keep playing this hold? I mean, really? Like, the thing is, I made some good progress here, and it's not in the situation that this one is in, where the path from what I've done to the solution involves an insane amount of brain horde management and timing and tar cutting coordination and just, like, I mean, like, w w what that involves. It's more of an insight sort of thing, so this is puzzly. I could have one insight that would end the room immediately, or maybe I could have one that would lead to several more. There might actually be a bunch more to this puzzle. There are some sort of, like, there are dynamic components to it because mud babies are moving around and I need to use them to manage the growth of this, but this is much more approachable than this. This one is just... Uh, drudgery. Like, a big mess of busy work and... You mess up once, you go back to the beginning and do something slightly different, then repeat a thousand moves or more uh, to find out where the next problem is, then repeat, you know, 1200 moves, find out where the next problem is, repeat 1400 moves, find out where the next problem is. Do that for a large enough number of hours and you'll probably solve this room. That's my impression. It's probably not quite as bad as that, but that's, that's the general format. Here, this is just efficiency. Find a way to, well, it's not just efficiency because... I haven't actually established the exact uh, winning combination of what I need there. Like, a winning combination would be Tar Baby, Tar Baby, B Throw. Uh, but that's impossible because I can't clear this out enough. Right, with, with no other tar around. So I need to generalize what I've done in rooms that look like this to allow it to happen with more tar. So another winning combination would be B throw down here and a whole lot of tar babies all up in here. I mean, that's that's how it would have to end up while he's down there. And that has to happen in a certain number of cycles. What about these others I peeked at? This looks like a different shape of this, but the same concept. Except it's not. There's no brain here. Okay, so this is different. That I've solved... This I never even attempted to parse. This I didn't see. Oh, weird. Mud clearing efficiency? I don't know. Uh, okay, so... I just have to be okay with not solving any rooms sometimes. I gained knowledge. I gained some insights. And that'll have to be enough. Alright, I'll see you next time to... I, I don't know what... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Be dazed and confused once more, I guess. <laughs>